Hello children, it's Friday, you've made it to the end of the penultimate week. Last week will be your last week in your year four. Um, not in your year four, in year four. Hopefully some of you are coming in next week to meet your new teacher. Uh, I have spoken to 4SB's new teacher about all of you, so she spent most of yesterday crying. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, and I know that other teachers will have spoken to your teacher about you as well. It will be great to see some of you next week. I'm really looking forward to it. I have missed all of you in year four. Um, it's been very strange, but hopefully in September we'll get back to a bit of normality. So today's lesson is just going to be a comprehension. So you need to listen carefully to the text that I'm going to read to you about cloud goblins, and then you're going to answer some questions. About so, cloud goblins. Here we go. Remember, it's a non-fiction text. It's a um, non-chronological report. So, cloud goblins, noobs cabalus, are gentle creatures who have an excellent sense of humour. Read on to find out more. Have you ever seen a cloud goblin? So, appearance, what they look like. Have you ever seen a cloud goblin? Like most goblins, they have huge feet, stubby legs, and a large nose. The majority of cloud goblins have white, black, or rainbow colored hair. However, some have hair the color of bright lightning. Additionally, most cloud goblins have big bushy beards, often with raindrops hanging from them, and huge ears, which can detect a small sound over 20 miles away. Cloud goblins like to wear yellow raincoats and dark sunglasses. Very normal looking. Habitat, where they live. Cloud goblins live in the skies all over the world. Cloud goblins like to live in large rain clouds, nimbostratus clouds, where they are camouflaged. Many cloud goblins can be found dwelling in the clouds above mountain ranges, such as the Andes or the Alps. Diet what they eat. Cloud goblins eat marshmallows, candy floss and lightning bolt biscuits. They also love to drink frost or fog milkshakes, but they must never drink rainwater because they are allergic to it. Cloud goblins have many surprising features. Despite their short legs, they are remarkably good at jumping, which means they are often found jumping long distances from one cloud to another. Interestingly, Cloud goblins are quite heavy, and they enjoy playing snowflake frisbee. Hobbies. Cloud goblins love to make shapes out of clouds. Have you ever looked at a cloud and thought, that looks like a frog, a flower, or a face? If you have, then it's probably a cloud goblin that has created that. Finally, the most amazing thing about cloud goblins is that they never sleep and they really enjoy reading Star Goblin's enchanting stories. So there is the text that I want you to answer some questions about today. Remember, they are going to be retrieval questions, so the answers are in the text. So it will be a good idea to have this video open so that you can go back and retrieve the answers. Now, good luck to you all. I hope you get five out of five. Have a lovely weekend, children. Take care. Goodbye.